Leonora Carrington, born on April 6, 1917, in Clayton Green, Lancashire, England, was destined to become a captivating artist. Her upbringing in a wealthy Roman Catholic family on the estate of Crookey Hall exposed her to Celtic mythology and Irish folklore, which later influenced her art, rebelling against her family and religious upbringing. Carrington was expelled from multiple convent schools before being sent to boarding school in Florence at the age of 40. There, she discovered her passion for painting and had the opportunity to visit some of the world's finest art museums. Carrington's journey led her to London, where she enrolled in Amadio's Infants Academy and encountered Surrealism for the first time. At the International Exhibition of Surrealism in 1936, she found camaraderie with fellow artists who rebelled against the English aristocracy. It was there that she discovered the artwork of German surrealist Max Ernst, with whom she would later fall in love. Carrington and Ernst moved to St. Martin Dodecky in southern France, which resulted in her disownment by her father. In Paris, she became acquainted with prominent surrealists such as André Breton, Salvador Dali, and Pablo Picasso. Carrington's earliest surreal works emerged during this period, including her renowned self-portrait titled The Inn of the Dawn Horse. The surrealist movement had an ambivalent attitude toward women, often framing them as muses for male artists. However, Carrington was determined to establish herself as an artist in her own right, stating, I didn't have time to be anyone's muse. I was too busy rebelling against my family and learning to be an artist. In 1938, Carrington participated in Surrealist exhibitions in Paris. That same year, she and Ernst relocated to the south of France. She authored several Surrealist short stories, such as The House of Fear 1938, The Oval Lady 1939, and The Debutante 1940. Carrington and Ernst collaborated on sculptures and paintings, but the outbreak of World War II changed their lives dramatically. Ernst was arrested as a hostile alien, but he escaped and fled to the United States, leaving Carrington behind. Devastated by the separation, Carrington experienced a severe mental breakdown and was admitted to an asylum. She documented this traumatic period through her writing, particularly in her story down below, and expressed it visually in her artwork Green Tea. Carrington's life took another turn when she married Mexican diplomat Renato Ledu, which facilitated her escape from war-torn Europe. She settled in Mexico City, where she discovered a vibrant artistic community. There, she formed a deep friendship and working relationship with Spanish surrealist Remedios Varro. Mexico became Carrington's home for the rest of her life. In 1946, she married Hungarian photographer Americo Weish and bore two children 1946 and 1947. She thrived as an artist and delved into subjects like metamorphosis and the mysteries of the world. Her paintings portrayed fantastical compositions and often included imagery of domesticity and motherhood infused with magical elements as in The House Opposite 1945 and The Giantess 1947. Some of Carrington's works from the 1940s and 50s contain groupings of three women, such as Three Women and Crows at a Table 1951. They are presumed to be paintings of herself, Varro, and Katie Horner, another friend. Carrington's artistic impact was widely recognized, and in 2005, her painting The Juggler set a record as the highest-priced work by a living surrealist artist at auction. Throughout her career, she continued to push artistic boundaries and challenge perceptions, leaving a lasting legacy as one of the last surrealists. Leonora Carrington died on May 25, 2011, aged 94, in a hospital in Mexico City as a result of complications arising from pneumonia. Her remains were buried at Pantheon Ingalls in Mexico City. Leonora Carrington, a visionary, a rebel, an artist who embraced the unknown. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel.